weighted average skill practice is going to have some counts and some percents and kind of mixing them up. So it's pretty easy to figure out which is which because obviously the counts don't have percents in them. So when I read this first problem at a recent football game, John Smith, Professor Ivy's son, had 11 carries of 7 yards, 5 carries of 4 yards, and 3 carries of 2 yards. What was John's rushing average? Or his average yards per carry for this game? Um, there's no percent, so I'm dealing with counts. So what am I talking about here? Well, I'm talking about total yards divided by total carries. That's, what I, that's kind of how I'm going to figure out my problem. So if I think about it, we talk about carries and we talk about yards. And it, it starts with 11 carries of 7 yards. So the total for that, that's 77 yards, right? 11 times 7 is 77. Well, then it says there's five carries of four yards each. Well, that's 20 yards total. And then three carries of two yards each, which is six yards total. So if we're looking at John here, John totaled under 103 yards and he had 19 carries. So 103 yards divided by 19 carries gives us an average of 5.42 yards per carry. And if you're a football watcher, they talk about this with running backs all the time, right? All right, number two. Ava currently has two jobs that she works on the same days of the week. In the morning, she works a total of five hours at a bakery, making $8.25 an hour. She actually is earning $8.25 an hour. In the late afternoon and evening, she works at a, as a security guard for seven hours, and she earns $11.50 an hour. How much does she get paid on average? Well, if she starts by, okay, so we're talking hours, and how much she gets paid. She works five hours and she gets paid eight twenty-five an hour. Okay, so how much is she getting paid total for that? Well, if I multiply those two together, she's earning forty-one twenty-five at the first job. The second job, she's working for seven hours, making eleven fifty. I multiply those together and I get eighty fifty. So we want to find the total paid divided by total hours. So when I total this up. She earns $121.75 a day, and she works 12 hours. When I divide those, we would say that Ava averages $10.15 per hour. Number three, look, percents. So this is a percent one. Find the weighted average of the final grade for a student whose grades in mathematics class can be seen in the chart below. So here's your category average, and we have our weights. Remember to change each of these to a decimal so that you can um, multiply. So we're going to take our category average and multiply by our weight. So homework average times the weight, I'm going to just put them in order, 14.25. Quiz average, 16.8. Participation, 4.8. Uh, midterm exam, 23.7, and final exam, 18.6, right? These are what I call quality points. Now, when we add these all together, we're going to get a score of 78.15, which if it was this math class, is a C, right? Nothing wrong with that. Number four, in a small local subdivision, no dogs reside in 45% of the homes. Okay, well, I'm all of a sudden I'm thinking number of dogs and then we're talking about percents. So zero dogs are in 45% of the homes. One dog is in 26% of the homes. Two dogs in 16%. Three dogs in 10%. Four dogs in 3%. I'm all about tables, right? Makes life easier. And we want to know the average dogs. Well, since I have percents, right, the percents allow us to just multiply. We're going to multiply each piece and then add those together. So obviously zero times 0.45 is zero. And then I have um, 0.26, right, because you have to change all of these to decimals first. Then I have 0.32, because 2 times 0 0.16, 0 0.3, and 0.12. So when I add these numbers together, I actually end up with 1. So the average is 1 dog per home in this subdivision. Even though 45% don't have a dog, they still average out to 1 dog per home. Kind of interesting. Uh, and number five, we have a GPA problem. So recall that you earn um, points per credit hour. So for a B in English, a B is three points. So three credit hours times three points means you earned nine total points for that English class. 
Now in math, you got a C. A C is worth two points. So four credits times two points gives you eight total points. History, you got a D. So three credits times one point gives you three points. And Student Success Seminar, Success Seminar, you earned three points. One credit times three points gives you three points. You earned a total of 23 points. So remember, GPA is points divided by credits. So we take those 23 quality points you earned, and we you took 11 credit hours. So divided by 11, and your GPA for that semester is 2.09. Number six, again, uh, GPA problem. So let's change color so it's more fun. An F earns you zero points. So in your science lab, you earned zero points. A zero really does hurt your GPA there, killer. Psychology, you got a B, that's three points. So three credits, three points, that's nine total points. Literature, you got an A, and A is four points. That's super good. Three times four is 12. Uh, physics, you got an A, good job. 4 times 4 is 16 points. You should have gone to your lab, though. Philosophy, you got a B. A B is 3 points. 3 times 3 is 9. So when you add all these up, you earned 46 points. Go back, check out how many credits you, earned, you took. You had 15 credits. So to find this, we take our points divided by our credits. So 46 divided by 15, and your GPA for this semester is 3.07 based off this data. And the final problem here, we have a psychology course. And here's the weights for the course, and then we are given what, what you did. Well, recall that you need a category average for these pieces. So research papers, if I add all three of these together and then divide by three, I get an average of 76. So three research papers, I would take 0.15 multiplied by 76, and my research papers earned me 11.4 points. Then I go to my exams. I add these all together, divide by 4, and that gives me an average of 77.25. So I take my four exams, 50% of my grade, times the average of 77.25, and that earns me 38.625 points. Presentations, well, there's only two of them. I add them together, then divide by two, and my average is 57.5. So I take my 10% for my presentations, multiply by the 57.5, and that earned me 5.75 points. Now, there's only one exam. I don't have to average that. So I just take my 0.25 times the 75% I earned on my final exam, and my final exam earned me 18.75 points. So now... I take these four scores and I add them all together. When I add those together, I get 74.525, and that is my final grade in this course, which I'm guessing is probably a C. And that is your skills practice on weighted averages.